Hi, I'm John Massman with Isthmus Sailboards. Today we're going to rig the 2020 Legacy 5.8 sail from David Ezzi, and let's get started. Ezzy Sail's rigging and tuning guide does have all this instruction covered, and you get a nice sticker as well. Shows you how all of the boom settings are, how to roll up your sail, downhaul settings, something good to keep on hand in the future. It's a laminated piece. We're going to be using a um, combination of the Chinook Pro 1 alloy monocoque boom, Ezzy 60% carbon 430 mast, a Chinook skinny uh, Euro pin extension, and the one bolt base from Aeron, as well as a Dekine standard up haul. This combination is part of a rig package that we sell. Some of these components can change over time, but the components would remain on the same quality level. Your brand new sail, you remove it from the bag. When it's brand new, you will have Unroll the sail. You'll find rigging instructions rolled in the sail, and a lot of kind of paper to protect the uh, the logos from damaging. Unrolling the sail, remove the paper. So when we get started rigging, you always want the foot of your sail facing the wind the head of the sail downwind when rigging outdoors. Removing your mask from the mask case. So when rigging uh, the sail, um, the two halves of the mast, uh, the top half of the Ezzy has the ferrule built into it. The bottom half is just a hollow um, tube throughout. Make sure that the Ezzy logos at the bottom of each section. Bringing the sail, slide the, the top half of the mast up the mast sleeve. Connect the bottom half of the mast. Make sure it seats properly. Continue to push it all the way up the mast sleeve. Top of the mast sleeve, we're going to Fit this cap over the top of the mast. Next, we're going to grab the base extension while supporting the sail. Notice what the luff length states on the sail 441 to 443. That's the luff length required to rig the sail properly. That means we take a 430 mast, add 11 to 13 centimeters of extension. It's our new extension here. As far as collar adjustment, you twist the collar. You do it with one hand, twist it sideways, slide up and down. Extension is marked in centimeters. Twist, make sure you get the, the lower collar locked in. Set the upper collar on top. Let's go back, make sure that we're set at the right height. Slip the, the base extension in the bottom of the mast. Expose the pulley. And you have rigging instructions right here for how to thread the pulley in place. This is for standard bases where there's two pulleys on the lower base extension. The other side has 
streamlined bases. So you'll want to primarily look at this side for rigging. We're using a Chinook base extension today. Basically, take the rope off the bottom of the extension and we're going to enter the first pulley closest to the mast from the bottom side. We're going to come back and feed into the outer cleat, closest outer pulley rather, closest to the cleat from the inside. Next, we're going to go to the, we exited on the outside of the pulley. Now we are going to enter the outside pulley at the far end. Now we are going to enter the outside pulley to the inside. And last, the center pulley from underneath. Feed it through, back through the top hole into the cleat. And now I can set my sail down and give the sail down haul tension. As I pull down hole, I'm pulling the, the, uh, the battens so they are from the leading edge of the mast to the trailing edge of the mast. The boom we have today is the Chinook Pro One alloy monocoque boom. The size of this boom is 150 to 220 212 centimeters, 150 to 212. The rear end starts at 150 marking. As you extend it out, you can go all the way out to 212 centimeters. That's maximum length. For this sail, the boom length is 171 to 178 a broad range that will help you control the power of the sail for various wind conditions. The lighter the wind, generally the shorter the boom length, the stronger the wind, the longer the boom length. I traditionally always set these sails up in the mid range for boom length for average conditions, average all around. So we'll set this at, we'll go to 174. Class mechanism, it's a hinge style, it's a double pin, and you set the boom to the little divot on the collar for the whole setting. Before we attach the boom to the sail, we have the harness line loop. You have a rope on one side, bungee cord on the other. We're going to slip the rope through itself like so and then pull the rest of the uphaul back on itself. And that will secure your uphaul properly to the boom. Boom front end has a hinged rear gate. It has a built-in shim for RDM mass. If you are rigging sails with a SDM mast, you simply pop that out of position. Now if it's SDMs, back to the RDM, pop it in place. Now we're ready to attach this. Take your boom at this point. You want to read the writing so it'll be facing you. 
in the bottom of the sail. Slide the boom up. At this point, we'll just set it in the middle setting. The taller you are, the higher you'll set it. Normally, I set it up in the bottom of the top third section of the mast sleeve, boom opening area. In this case, I'm just going to set it in the middle for now. You always want to set your boom at least at shoulder height. Open the hinge, place the rope over the back of the flange, and close the handle. When you get a new boom, uh, the rope tension won't be set proper to your mast diameter, so we're going to cinch this tighter. There's a small cleat, just again, fit it. You hear that little bit of a snap. It's going to give you an idea that you have enough tension on that front end. You might tension it a little more so, a little tighter rather. Close it, and now it's nice and secure on the front end. The back of the sail, we have adjustable uh, outhaul settings, these strings. The sail is kind of limp against the boom. The length of the short rope uh, would be the shortest setting. Medium would be a little longer. And then the longest is the white. So black, gray, white, less wind, medium wind, strong wind. In this case, I'm going to readjust the boom one setting, 176, give it more outhaul tension to the gray. The rear end of the boom, in this case, is a loop and go base system. What that means is we have a knotted end and a, a rope, rope uh, cleat end. Cleat end has two knots on it. What's nice about this boom is you simply take this loop, you're going to feed it through the grommet of the clue of the sail, and then over the flange, kind of pull it down into position. It's kind of designed to snug in there. Now as I pull the outhaul tension, you can see it feeds through nicely through the loop and go. Medium setting, there's some firmness to the clue. I can't push it easily to the other end of the boom. That's the tension I like to sail with at minimum. With your excess rope, simply tie it off on the back. We'll come back to that in a second. Downhaul tension, you have three indicators, black, gray, white, once again, it correlates with your outhaul on your boom and your downhaul settings. Less downhaul, you will have a scalloped look right to the black mark. Medium setting, that scallop comes a little further into the gray area. And then maximum downhaul, you'll see more scalloped look where it will come right into the white area. Right now we're about in the, the gray area for downhaul tension. <coughs> so in a medium setting, the top of the sail has gonna have this loose look to it in the top panel, followed by a little less loose in the second panel down. For our downhaul settings, You can see all of the batten tips are floating behind the trailing edge of the mast now. Not caught up on the mast in any, any way. This is very important for rigging as he sails, that the mast, the batten, 
combatant tips float behind the trailing edge of the mast. Lots of uh, batten tension in the battens due to the unique build style of the Ezzy sails. Draft forward. The sail is really not rotating around the mast. It simply pops from one side to the other. For some of you that would like aid for downhauling a sail, we have this Maui hookup. Simply wrap the rope around and through itself. And this gives you the ability to adjust downhaul tension. Come back to this downhaul tension to show you what you don't want, and that is to set the sail up in such a manner that there simply isn't enough downhaul tension. We have wrinkles gathering towards the boom. This shows that there's just not enough downhaul tension in the sail, has a very spongy look to it. And now the batten tips are even though behind the back of the mast or next to the side of it, it's just not enough tension in what we call the luff panel. Downhaul tension, we're going to give it more downhaul. You see that the sail tension is getting much firmer along the luff. The more I downhaul the sail, in the top of the sail, you'll see that it gets looser and looser or more limp looking between the battens. Really windy conditions, this is one way to depower your sail is to give maximum downhaul tension. And that will cut away some of your power from your sail, make it more controllable. Coming back to the downhaul and the spacing here, what we want to avoid is any gap between the pulley as much as we can. One inch would be okay, but generally speaking, two inches is too much. So we've got our setting a little too high, 443. We have it at 444. So I would recommend that you set this sail at number 12 for the 58 be right above the, the minimum, between minimum and maximum downhaul. Next, what we're going to do is take our excess rope. We have two choices. As he has a nice pocket where you can simply gather the rope, stuff the excess into the pocket. and Velcro at close. Also, as he has a built-in screwdriver for tensioning battens found in the mast, in the mast pad. All of these sails are pre-tuned. You shouldn't have a need to adjust the batten tensions on the brand new sail. They are rigged at the factory before they leave. Another thing you can do on these the downhaul, simply loop it, leave some excess, wrap around the mast, extension, feed the loose end through the loop, tie off. Last, we have what's called a tack strap. This also tensions the sail when we derig it. Simply wrap it around, feed it through the buckle, cinch down. With RDM mass, you can cinch this down tight, and it cups the foot of this, the, uh, the sail a little more so, pulls the draft a little lower. Some people will wrap this around once and then Velcro to the other side, just like so. Attach your mast pad. Have your uphole. 
loop your up hole around the bottom of the mats, and then basically we'll wait to secure the bottom mass pad until after we've connected it to our board and you'll close it off so you have full protection of your piece. Out hole. Adjust this a little bit. A lot of draft. You can see how deep the stomach is. That would be at the minimum uh, setting for out hole. It's about here. And then we go out to medium out hole for more firmness, what I recommend. Your excess rope, you can take, wrap around the rear end of the boom. Some people will simply pull it across and lock it in place. There you have it, the Ezzy Legacy 2020 sale. The T-nut extension fits into the board. You loosen this up, you'll get it when it's new. They just tighten it up here, loosen it all the way up towards the end. Made to fit the mass box system. Drop down in the big opening, slide forward and twist it as tight as you can. Remember, you don't want it to slide under load and come out, so be sure you get it as tight as you can get it in the board. So when you're doing those big jumps, it's not going to go any place or big crashes. Be sure you're, you can get somebody to loosen it up for you. You're too tired after your session. Air on, one bolt base. The Europin base extension has a button on the back, a pin on the base itself. When you are connecting these together, you simply line up the pin to the hole. You can push in, but if you push down on the button, it receives it easier. And to release it, you're going to do the same. So push in, press down on the button, lock it in place. To release, push down, pull out. Next, we're going to de-rig the sale for you. It's a reverse process. So we're going to remove our boom first. Loop and go. We'll move the rope off the end. We cleat it. Pop the boom off, pull the boom off the bottom of the sail. Move the tack strap. Fully remove it from the buckle. Downhaul tension. We'll extension out. Next, we're going to simply twist the mass back and forth while sliding it out of the mass lead. Sometimes the mass sections can come apart, that's okay. To roll the sail, we're simply going to fold the sail over the middle. And just get the battens parallel to one another. And 
just holding some firmness. You can put your hand, if you didn't get a tight roll, put your hand inside the mask sleeve, hold on tight. Get it nice and snug. Wrap the rope or the, uh, the tack strap around the sail and back on itself. The sail bag has a vent in the bottom of the bag. That's where you'd like your mask sleeve to go. It's the part that you do want to try to dry out over time. Place the mast, mast sleeve down in the bag. There you have it, Ezzy Legacy 2020 sail rigged. Once again, give Isma Sailboards a call if you have any questions. We'll be happy to assist you. Enjoy your day.